Alright, we're going to run a test cut of the FF117. I already messed up my G-code a little bit. I'm trying something different. I'm also trying a new bit. We're going to see how this bit cuts. So, let's get it all calibrated here. Got everything zeroed out. Got the G code loaded up. We're going to cut the slots first. I had to break it into three programs. We'll cut the slots, then we'll cut the profiles, then we'll cut the bevels. Here we go.
pause this while I change bits and we'll do the bevel cuts. Alright, bit changer doesn't take too long, but I didn't think I needed to waste any tape on it. We change bit, so we gotta re-zero our z-axis for the different length bit. So we're just gonna re-reference the z. Try and do it at about the same spot. Alright. Load up the bevel pass. And we're done. off of here and see how well we cut all the way through it. Like I said, this is a different bit. It's not a uh, standard roto zip bit like I've been using. This is more along the lines of an actual router bit with an 8 inch shank. Still trying to devise a better clamping method than staples. But yeah, we cut all the way through on the majority of the part. So it looks like I might still have a little bit of a high spot in the table. Or it might just be this masonite has a little bit of a bulge there or maybe something sat on the table. You know, maybe there's some dirt under the table there. This was trying to do two pages at once. Yeah few little spots on the table but for the most part I'm happy with how it cut all my parts are all the way through like I said I messed up the first three first four slots there in the G code that part won't be usable but the quality of the cut is a lot better so we are almost there guys just wanted to show you how it was running <laughs> 